Let's talk about public charging for your EV and how it compares to fueling up at a gas station. DC fast chargers are typically not economically practical for home use, nor are they needed because you can charge overnight. Public chargers are typically either DC fast chargers, level 2 chargers, or a combination thereof. However, not all public chargers offer DC fast charging. If you need a quick charge, you should look for a DC fast charger. And DC fast charger availability continues to increase across the network. These chargers can add up to 150 miles per one half hour charging, and even faster DCF chargers are becoming available. Public chargers are available to everyone. Finding out the right network provider will depend on where you live, where you want to go, and what type of connector your car supports. To make this decision easier, public charging companies such as Francis Energy, ChargePoint, EVgo, and Electrify America are exploring ways to make it more convenient to use all public charging networks without having to establish multiple app accounts. There are multiple mobile apps that help EV drivers find public charging stations. They show charging station location, driving directions, charging level, plug types, fees, and charger availability. To make it easier to plan your trip, apps such as PlugShare, EV Match, or Open Charge Map allow you to filter by plug type, including Level 1, Level 2, and DC Fast Chargers. But the best part is the community of EV users that update different charging stations with detailed reviews, location descriptions, photos, and even nearby amenities like Wi-Fi, restaurants, shopping, and public restrooms. At this point, you might be wondering, so how long will it take me to charge at a public station? Well, most DC fast chargers are rated to charge EV batteries to 80%, or up to 150 miles in 30 minutes. 30 minutes? That's super fast. So cool. It is, isn't it? That'll give me enough time to text my friends and grab a sandwich and drink. However, they charge faster when battery is less than 80% full. After that point, charging will slow dramatically, the same way your cell phone or tablet does. That's why it's important to know that public charging is a convenience, not a necessity. Also, the cost of public charging varies on payment terms based on providers. Some network providers may charge per minute, while others may charge by kilowatt hour. So it's best to use an app like PlugShare to understand what you'll be paying at the charging station you plan to utilize. The typical total cost is usually between $5 and $15, but ultimately it will come down to your driving habits and how far you typically drive per day. Regarding payment options, most mobile apps will allow you to pay within them. That's right, just press one button and bada bing! But if you don't have cell phone service, most charging stations accept credit cards. Some providers also offer RFID cards that make using their chargers super convenient. If you ask me, I would only recommend public charging on limited occasions. It's actually more convenient and less expensive to charge overnight at home. Especially since many utilities are starting to offer cheaper rates at night for owners of electric vehicles. There are now thousands of charging stations open to the public. And they're constantly growing and will continue to grow as more people choose EV as their preferred mode of transportation. So that was it for this video. Now you know the essentials about public charging. Stay tuned because next we're going to find out if EVs are the right option for your fleet. How was that, Dad? Was that good? <laughs>